Welcome to UC Santa Barbara's Career Services Virtual Workshop Series. Our mission is to educate and empower all students and recent graduates to prepare for and pursue success. You are currently viewing the Grad Student LinkedIn Workshop. Having an impactful LinkedIn profile is an essential part of your career portfolio. In this video, we will be discussing the different sections of your LinkedIn profile and how to write them. LinkedIn has a dual function, one, to advertise your skills and passion, which happens primarily through your profile, and the other part is looking for and building connections with people, firms, and industry that you might be interested in. Headline, about, and experience sections make up the first part of your LinkedIn profile function. They help you put your best foot forward and advertise your skills and passion. Searching for connections, connecting with connections, and following up with connections perform the second part of your LinkedIn profile, networking. Headline, LinkedIn is a lot about first impressions and whether your profile is able to garner the attention of someone landing on it. Your headline appears in search results and is often the first things users see. Your goal with the headline should be to create an accurate and attention grabbing impression. It should try to convey your top skills, passion, and or what you are interested in. Headlines are all about keywords so you may want to avoid the default headline. In the following slides, we will discuss which formats best deliver your message. The way to start constructing impactful headlines is to first think about what makes you a unique candidate for your job, internship, or preferred industry goal. Then, you should continue, consider your key accomplishments and aspects of your academics, experiences, or skill sets that match those preferred by the job ads or highlighted in the LinkedIn profiles of individuals within that community. Then consider the qualifications needed for your job or internship goal. Finally, start developing your headline by brainstorming some of the relevant terms and phrases that come to your mind. Your headlines can take on the following formats, focus statement, goal oriented, or list of keywords. Focus statement format is generally a one line statement that highlights your top skill, the industry, or job area you're working in. Here is an example of the focus statement format headline. Communications PhD student focusing on operations in the tech field. Goal-oriented headline focuses on how your top skill connects with the goals you want for your career. Here is an example of a goal-oriented headline, R&D engineer with technical knowledge in biochemistry. Finally, the list of keywords type headline means just that, a list of keywords that highlights your top skills, areas of interest, and or goals. Here's an example of the list of keywords style headline, PhD candidate in economics, data analytics, U.S. public policy. The about section is the most important section of your LinkedIn profile. Users who visit your profile read the about section first. In order to decide if it is worth their time to keep reading the pro profile. This section is your chance to provide context to help users understand your experiences and efforts. Utilize your about section to quickly state 
your value proposition to the reader and to explain relevant plans. This section allows you to contextualize your experience and skill set to address to the reader how you would make an excellent candidate in your target industry. It's important to write the about section in the first person point of view to connect with your audience. The first three lines of your about section are absolutely critical for making an impactful first impression. LinkedIn now only shows the reader the first three lines, and if they want to read more, they must click see more. This means your first three lines must catch the reader's attention so they will continue to read your full story. You should write your first three lines with the reader in mind. It should answer what you can do for them and then use the rest of the space to expand about yourself. The about section can be written in three different styles, personal tone, accomplishments tone, and a hybrid of the personal and accomplishments tone. The personal tone is written in a format that weaves your skills, accomplishments, and goals into a personal story that draws the reader in and informs them without being explicit about it. The accomplishment stone takes on a more explicit message where you're directly informing the reader of your skills, accomplishments, and how that would make you an excellent candidate for that particular position or industry. The hybrid tone takes on the measures of the above two that allows you to explicitly convey your professional message while adding the human touch to it. Please pause the video here to go through the examples of these three tones on the current slide and next. Then, building upon the words you brainstormed for your headline, identify a few specific accomplishments, aspects of your background, or goals that you want to elaborate on. You can use these as the core components of your about section. There are two other sections on LinkedIn that are important for you to fill out, but they mostly mirror the information already on your resume. These are the experience and education sections. These two sections are easiest to fill out as long as you have a carefully created them for your resume. Brevity is important when describing your work experiences, so consider just putting minimal bullets to describe your work experiences. Searching for connections. Now we begin discussing the important function of your LinkedIn profile, networking. LinkedIn provides you the opportunity to connect with people you know and people you don't know. One of the best features is to expand your network and reach out to people you don't know yet. It's a big world out there and many people will gladly connect. Before searching for others, navigate to privacy and settings, privacy, profile viewing options, select private mode. This enables you to browse through profiles of the individuals you're interested in without LinkedIn sending notification to, notifications to them that you have viewed their profile. It is an essential part of the first steps of networking. It is advisable to connect with former UCSB alumni. School Affinity has proved to be one of the best ways for two unknown individuals to connect on LinkedIn. Connecting with UCSB alumni creates a sense of community and bond homie that is harder with others. 
please pause the video for a minute, open your LinkedIn, set it to private, then search for alumni based on the instructions on the current slide. You have learned how to find someone to connect with on LinkedIn. Now we discuss how to catch their attention and connect with them. Once you land on the profile of a person whose job interests you and you want to connect with them, click the connect button on their profile and choose add a note to personalize your message. Please note that after your press connect, they will receive a notification of your invitation, but you can add the note section that will then be connected to the request. If you are paying for or using the one month free premium subscription, you can send an in-mail called messages to a new contact without having to connect with them officially. You can get around this by joining groups. And when you're in the same group as people, you can message them directly without having to request the connect button. Either of these ways are fine to do and an acceptable way of communicating on LinkedIn. There are multiple ways to write your connection note. You could start with a common experience. Are you both an alumni? Do you have a mutual contact? Do you share an interest or skill? This is also where it becomes easier to find a connection if they are a UCSB alumni. You could also begin by selecting what matters by indicating what stood out to you about their career profile or trajectory. This is a very good icebreaker if you're trying to connect with a non-alum whose career trajectory or job profile you're interested in knowing more about. Another method is by saying what you want. Here, you can include your intention for reaching out. For example, would it be possible to ask you a few questions about careers in market research? And what skills should I focus on developing? Finally, you could reach out by showing gratitude. For example, by saying thank you. Please pause the video on the next slide to read through some of the examples of how to write connection notes to someone on LinkedIn. You have sent a connection note with your request to connect with someone on LinkedIn. Now it's time to strategize. When you're connecting with people you don't know, it is important to consider these possible scenarios. They accept your connection request and they message you back. Be sure to respond to them within a timely manner and keep the conversation going. If they have accepted your invitation to set up an informational interview or meeting, follow through. Your organizational skills are very important. They accept your connection request, but they do not message you back. If there was something that you mentioned in your connection request that they did not specifically respond to, you'll want to follow up within a few days with a direct message and it is okay to re-ask for a meeting. Finally, they don't accept your connection request. Unfortunately, not everyone is active on LinkedIn and some people maintain rules for who they connect with. Don't let this get you down. There's more fish in the sea. If you really want to connect with this person, you might try different strategies, email introduction, connecting at an event, or introduction through a shared connection. In many cases, it might be best to move on for now. Thank you so much for viewing this virtual workshop on how to create an impactful LinkedIn profile and how to network on LinkedIn. Before you go, 
we would like to highlight a set of additional resources that are offered through career services and specifically aids in helping you create an even more impactful LinkedIn experience. If you would like for the career counselor or the graduate career peer to give you feedback on your LinkedIn profile, you can make an appointment with us through Handshake. We have more information about LinkedIn on the UCSB career website, including tips on how to create the best LinkedIn that suits your career goals. Thank you for attending this virtual workshop. We hope to continue assisting you for all your professional and career development needs.